Hi folks, Exeter Rider, thanks for joining me once again. Now this week is my full review of the Sinus GPX125. So let's start straight from the top. Sinus is a brand, they are normally bikes for people on a budget or people who, you know, are young and just starting out in biking. 17 years old and again, like most 17 year olds, they haven't really got a lot of money to spend. But considering the price of this bike, it does actually look pretty good. You know, I, I think that's fair to say. Now for me, when I'm sat on the bike, I do feel that there's quite a reach to the handlebars and it does put a lot of weight on your wrist. So, you know, that's just something to bear in mind. You are very much over the tank. It is very much uh, quite an, an aggressive styled sports bike, so to speak. But if you're young and supple and 17 or whatever, then you're not going to worry about that because uh, that's problems that you'll get when you're a little bit older like me. <laughs> yeah, so it looks good. Uh, we've got CST tyres on the front and the rear. They're on 17 inch rims. We've got the combined braking again as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it, it, looks, it looks a good enough bike, doesn't it? It looks quite nice considering the price point. We have a nice dashboard as well. It's uh, like an LCD, some description, nice colours on it. Uh, again, you know, it, it's okay for the price that you pay. It, it's quite a cool looking dash really, but it's got a gear indicator as well. be done on it. Right, let's get out on the road. So it is certainly a, a bike that you have to rev pretty pretty hard so you get anything out of it. But again that's what these bikes are all about aren't they? Team reaches a li limiter as well. Yeah, it's quite good fun to actually rev around and uh, beast it a little bit, shall we say. And again, it's a good bike to learn your craft on at the end of the day, because, uh, oh, slow down a bit now. Um, it's a good bike to learn your craft on. And that's what 125s are for anyway. Uh, now seating position, as I say, I'm very much over the bars and my belly is up against the tank. Now even at 50 miles an hour, I, um, I've got quite a lot of vibrations coming up through the tank and uh, through the foot pegs and even on the seat actually, so again that's something you just need to bear in mind. But it is quite a, a vibey bike, but again, you know, for the target market for this bike, most people are going to be new riders on L plates. And if this is your first bike, then you know, you, you'd love it, you'd, have, you'd really enjoy it. If you're a bit older, like me, and it's your first bike, then just try one first, because as I say, you might find that it's a little bit, a uh, little bit aggressive on the riding style and the riding uh, the rider triangle so just bear that in mind but for cornering you know again you, you do feel very much like you're on a sports bike of course you've got the weight over the front wheel there um, the pegs are relatively high up of course again it's just speed limits everywhere these days isn't there all the nationals have gone these days um, I have had this bike up to si an indicated 66 miles an hour, nearly, I think I hit 67 at one point actually. So um, for a 125 that's pretty good, but bear in mind that that is indicated, so that might be plus or minus, well probably minus, uh, up to 5 miles per hour, so uh, do bear that in mind. Uh, gear indicator is very prominent, as is the speed and the time. But again, you know, flinging it into the corners is... Um, <laughs> just rem reminds me of being 17 again on my mate's bike. Didn't lead a licence back then. Well, you did, but you know what I mean. <laughs> But 
but yeah you could learn uh, you know a lot about riding and a lot about how to take corners on this bike and overall just have quite a good good laugh on it now although i'm saying it's vibey at the moment that those vibes will probably go in time it probably uh, needs a thousand miles or so to get rid of the vibes but as I say you know for a, a first bike that's a sports bike this bike can teach you quite a lot about riding switch gear is you know it's just all normal stuff really the uh, handlebars are very much like clip-ons so they feel like clip-on handlebars as I know them so they're quite narrow so for traffic riding um, it would be quite narrow to to filter through traffic things like that that being said we have got these mirrors which are stuck out quite far right, now before we start the walk round I had a bit of an accident with the mirror here today so uh, that was when I was packing it away in the garage and I knocked the side garage wall and the mirror come off so ignore that bit okay it's never happened before so it's a one-off anyway so this is the Sinus 125 GPX it shares the same engine as the Sinus Terrain so 125 cc learn a legal bike so if you're on a budget and uh, you know money's a bit tight then this is a good way into your bike in life so for under two and a half thousand pound you can get yourself on a sports bike for me to sit on the bike I'm five foot eight with a 30 inch inside leg measurement and I'm nearly flat footing it or pretty much flat footing it I would say switch gear on the left hand bar we have indicators the horn high beam low beam and a pass light on the other side and the clutch lever which is non-adjustable on the right hand bar we have the kill switch the hazards and the start button leg position here is uh, semi-aggressive I don't feel they're up tight and they say that the fuel consumption is around three litres per 100 kilometres and at nine and a half thousand rpm it produces 12.7 horsepower and the maximum torque 10.67 newton meters of torque at 7500 rpm it's a six speed box it weighs in at quite a light 158 kilograms the fuel tank is 12 liters which should last you a long time and it's available in carbon black or ultimate gray Sinus do offer a two-year warranty covering parts, labour and breakdown and after year one it's parts, labour and breakdown only and after year two it's parts only. Quality of the finish is okay, it's a, a thin coat of powder coat but at least it is still powder coated throughout so this bike will last as long as you look after it. So that's it, the end of another review. Thank you very much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be really cool. That really helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall the Sinus SPX125, it's a good bike if you're on a budget and you like sports bikes. If you're young, then it's gonna teach you uh, all about biking and all that you need to know. So uh, thank you very much to Sinus. Thank you to you for watching and I'll see you next week, the same time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.